Welcome back to another episode. Today we're out here on, I forgot the name of the lake, Houston Lake. Houston Lake, um, it's like a uh, public golf course lake. Um, there's some green, there's some docks, there's some mats, there's some, it's, it's like a small lake you follow, which is what I like. So stay tuned, hopefully we can catch some fish. We're gonna be doing some flipping, a little bit of frogging. And I'm sure we'll throw the wacky rig or something, but yeah, stay tuned. That was a dink of a dink. That thing weighed maybe like one ounce. I'm not even kidding you. That fish had that thing for 10 years. It's not a bad one. Why is your tail bloody? Y'all spawned like a month ago. Hmm. Actually, that is kind of a tiny one. About a pound. Whatever. It's a start. Chill. He was... That's a grown one. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Yes! Yes! He is skinny. That's what I'm talking about right there. Dadgum, I bet you he'd be pushing four if he wasn't skinny. I knew there was going to be one right there. There's like trees and all kinds of stuff up under that dock. That's a stud right there. Yes, sir. Dadgum, that one's got a sore on it too. That's weird. I know they ain't on beds. That's just, that's still weird though. Alrighty, dude. You are skinny. Go, uh, go eat something. Awesome. Oh shoot. That was crazy. And that's a grown one. Shoot. That thing, <laughs> that thing was all the way up under there. I thought it was on that daggum piling. Oh my gosh. He had it for a hot minute too. Man, they got sores all over them. Now that one right there is probably three, three and a half. He doesn't have as big a face as the other one, but he's just as long and fat. That's a nice one right there. That's pretty. Still got sores on him though. Man, that's weird. Thanks for biting my hook, bro. Let's 
sick. Guys, unfortunately, we only caught like three fish that morning. I wasted a daggum hour and a half throwing that frog, which was stupid because they were clearly up under the docks. Um, I wish I could go back and just just flip docks all day because I only fished on the docks for like 30, 40 minutes and had those nice fish. I feel like I could have really caught some nice ones if I had just fished all day on the docks. But I want to take a little bit of time and tell y'all what I was throwing and like what tackle I was throwing it on, like what line, what rod, and all like that. Um, so I had a uh, three eighths ounce uh, tungsten clipping weight with a peg on a four arm trocar TK130 flipping hook. Um, that's my by far my favorite flipping hook. And I was throwing the uh, Raid's Tail Structure Bug, the uh, four inch in watermelon red. And they come with the appendages like stuck on the body and everything and stuck together. I break them apart so that you can get the most action out of them. And I was just hooking it weedless, and snug in that peg up against it. That's what it'll look like right there. I got that hook completely weedless hidden in there, just like that. throwing that on a uh, 7.2 medium heavy 20 pound fluorocarbon um, 7.51 gear ratio reel this is a fast reel um, the rod is kind of up to you really because certain to me depending on what brand you get medium heavies are a little bit heavier than other medium heavies and uh, this one is a real stout medium heavy I'd like a heavy when I flip and stuff like that but uh, this medium heavy is pretty stout got a real Got a real fast tip and all like that, so this one handles flipping real well. Um. Bye. All right, I'm done. Get down. Get get down. You're no longer allowed in any of my videos. Never. Gosh. Sorry about that. My dog's a dead gum klutz. Uh, but yeah, so I was just doing that. I was skipping it under the docks as far as I could. Uh, thank goodness the docks were kind of high. Uh, it was pretty easy to skip those docks. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this tip. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that. And we'll catch you next time in an episode of PB Outdoors. <laughs>